We got to talk about Master Duh. <clears throat> Sorry. We got to talk about Master Duh. <clears throat> we got to talk about Master Duh <clears throat> in 2024. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. <clears throat> let's let's dive on into it, shall we? You, you probably already can tell how I'm going to feel about it. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most aim for yellow 32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we drop a dookie boo-boo stain all over Master Duel. I can't cuss within the first like minute or so of the video, so don't worry, we're going to use the real name in just a little bit. But I wanted to talk about how terrible Master Boo-Boo Stain is in 2024. And now we pass the first minute. So let's talk about how bad Master Shits is. Uh, this game is still garbage. <laughs> like, I can't believe that this game is still around. And like, at first I wasn't going to make a video talking about because there's not really anything going on. But they're still doing these theme duels and trying to like bring in things from the solo mode and like play archetypes from the solo mode, like this new theme mode that they're doing. They've got Promethean Princess in there, which isn't doing a damn thing because of the fact that they don't have all the good fire cards in it. The format's like six to eight months behind the actual TCG game. And, <laughs> bro, it's so comical to me that people were, when they were quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! because of a $1,000 meta decks, even though we already talked about why it's not really $1,000, and they're like, I'm going to Master Duel! <laughs> and I'm like... That's not any better. Like, that's like the kids saying, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home to go play with a different colored ball. Like, there's no difference in the game. All you're doing is going to a solo mode that is dog water with a balance that just doesn't make any sense. And a buddy of mine was trying to tell me a couple days ago, he's like, bro, like, you just won't let people enjoy things, do you? Like, he was getting kind of pissed because he's, like, talking about master shits and all the decks that he's beating, whatever. And I'm like, those meta decks haven't been a thing for, like, eight or nine months. He's like, well, uh, why can't you just let people enjoy it? You know, it, it's something different. And I'm like, look, I didn't even say this to him at the time because I just didn't want to get into an argument with him and piss him off. And it's not that I wanted to. It's just the fact of I don't want players who play Master Shits to suddenly think that they're a god at the game and then go get their asshole blown out at a regional and then they get all upset and cry and sell their deck for $10 uh, when, like, they're not doing as well as they were hoping to because Master Shits sold them a lie. The thing is, you have to remember that when the game was first revealed, Konami called it an official simulator for the game. Now, you're probably going to say, well, Avery, they've added a match mode now and, you know, time's passed and whatever. But you don't earn anything in the match mode. There's no reason to play the match mode. It's the equivalent of playing a private match in Call of Duty. You're not earning anything. You're not working towards anything. So the solo mode is where you have to go. You can do the different carnivals and things and whatever, but it's the same thing but with different colored pom-poms. It's the same damn thing. So if you want to actually be a competitive player, you have to go play Dueling Book, which I don't even think is the best. Dueling Nexus, which for whatever reason has a lot of rogue scrub players. Um, or, my choice, you go to EDO Pro. That is what you should be doing and not be playing Master Shits. And the fact that they're adding in cards that aren't in the game yet. I mean, we don't have Promethean Princess yet, but we're going to get in Phantom Nightmare. It's just weird. I think they're trying to sell people on the fact of, hey, you can play with this card early and see how it works in Master Shits. But that doesn't really make any sense because of the fact that the format's so different and it's best of one. So you don't even get to side deck and see what kind of answers the opponent's going to play against that card. So help me learn this here. And so it's not about the game being different, right? It's not about having like a different taste of the game. Because if you want a different taste of the game, go play Time Wizard format. Or like what Konami should have done years ago, have Turbo Duels. Speed Spell, Pot of Greed, remove 10 Speed Spell counters, draw 2 cards. Like... That would be a cool different take on the game. I know they went with speed duels, duel links, and all this other trash that's just irrelevant. And so the fact that they're still trying to say it's an official online simulator for Yu-Gi-Oh! is hilarious to me because it's clearly not. And I always think it's so fucking cringe when I watch people like Iron Mouse and these other people play Yu-Gi-Oh! and not know what the fuck they're doing. And they think that it's a fun game and it's not because it's dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I get not everybody plays Yu-Gi-Oh! on a regular basis, and there are the casual players out there, but I kid you not, even in 2024, I have seen casual players being like, you know, this deck's fun, I'm gonna take it to a regional, and I'm gonna play in person. 
No, you're not. There's a reason why when I went to the OTS Championship, like what now, almost a year ago, and I played Cash Tier Adventure, that when round three happened and all of us were at the top tables, one of the guys was like, okay, all the Master Duel players are gone. Now the tournament can actually start. Because it's true. Because you have these scrub players walk in that think they're, they're the gift of God's green earth to this game. <laughs> because they got to gold or whatever shit in Master Duel. Excuse me, Master Shits. Uh, and they think that all of a sudden they're just going to come in and beat everybody. And it's like, no, like you don't even know what cash tier rise heart is like, stop it. Like go, go, go back to table 500, please. And like, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from being a competitive player if you're casual. Right. But you have to understand that there are better avenues than playing on a official simulator. That's not actually official because of how the game is constructed. And honestly, I'm really shocked that the game is still alive in 2024 with the dog water ban list that it has, the UI that looks like it was constructed by a pachinko machine on crack, and <laughs> the the card packs and prices and everything else. And oh, and Max C. God, I almost forgot about Max C. Yeah, no, like I, I pray for the day that I go to a regional and I get a round one buy because my opponent sat down and showed me that they were playing Max C. And I instantly raise my hand and call for a judge, and the judge gives them a match loss because their deck list is incorrect. Although they would catch it whenever they're checking their deck list, but who knows? Maybe I'll one day get lucky and not be unlucky in this game and always get hit with a Nibiru. <laughs> so there's that. But I truly do hope that this game dies, or at some point Konami puts in a match mode where you can earn stuff. Because if they had a concept where... If they had a match mode where you could actually earn gems and stuff, that would teach the casual player base how to side deck. And on top of that, they're leaving money on the table by not including like even like some sort of DLC or a free update to do previous formats. Like, why do you have time wizard formats in the real game and you're not using time wizard formats in Master Shits? Like, I get that the card pool is different, but you're leaving money on the table by my, by not making that like DLC that people can pay like $10 for and get, you know, like teach people about old formats. That would be cool. Of course, they could have had like a normal ass campaign like the old world championship games, but we're just asking for too much at that point. It's got to be free to play. You got to get your max C's. You got to spend all your craft points. Woo. And it's, uh, give me a fucking break. This game is dog water. Like, I just pissed off my dad playing Fire Kings against his 8 axis deck. And he's like, Yu-Gi-Oh's gone to shit. I'm quitting the game. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I mean, the Promethean Princess is going to get banned. Like, yeah, the deck's insane. But, like, you're also not playing hand traps. Like, your deck is bad. And uh, it, you played Mystic Mind for four years. Like, you're starting back from the bottom of Yu-Gi-Oh, like, expertise. Like, all those things, right? But then to try and, like, play Master Shits. And, like, he even gets aggravated with that. And the reason why I bring him up is because of the fact that he was a competitive player. And he, for the most part, enjoys Master Shits. But he's like, you know, what's S-Force? What are these cards? I'm like, you're playing against all these dog shit decks. He told me that he lost to a Labyrinth Trap Tricks deck. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, the players in this game are terrible. And, like, look, I, I played Master Shits when it came out for, like, five minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, let's let's not make a joke about that. I played it for about 30 minutes, right? And it was dog water. And I'm like, look, I don't know what's going on in this dog shit format for this game. But, like, someone like me could pick up, I feel like, any deck, like Labyrinth, Trap Tricks, whatever, and easily get to gold. Like, if players are getting into gold and silvers and diamonds, whatever level rank you kids got going on with, like, Labyrinth, Trap Trick decks, like, oh my god, these must be some of the worst players I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, it's really comical. And then, like, you're playing S-Force? Oh my god. This is why I say, like, you need to play on a different simulator in 2024 that's not Master Duel. Because of the fact that the players clearly in that game, unless all of the competitive players finally dumped out like someone farted and everybody just falls out the room because it stank so bad, that all of the good players are gone and it's just the casual five-year-old Timmy No Thumbs. Like, it's going to be one of those games, I think, for a while. It's going to be, like easy money for streamers and stuff to play if they don't want to do like warzone or call of duty or something but like even like if you were to talk to someone like jesse cotton who like whatever became the world champion of master shits i think anybody could do that it's just jesse cotton decided to take the polar bear plunge and actually invest the time into that which i would never do in my life but uh, if you even talk to someone like jesse cotton joshua schmidt pack 
these people have sponsors, right? Like, they're not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you and tell you, yes, this game's garbage. They're going to say, hey, this game seems cool. It seems fun. I'm willing to give it a chance. It's something different. I love how everybody pulls the something different line, too. As if Konami did not say this is an official simulator for the game. But I digress. <laughs> so... Even if you talk to those players, I feel like behind closed doors, they would tell you, look, this game is ass. Like, you're not going to learn how to play the game well through playing this. If you're a casual player, like, who doesn't want to be competitive, then sure. But, like, why are you watching this video if you don't want to get better at the game? Or be a competitive player at the very least? And that's what really frustrates me about the game. Is that they're still trying to push this narrative of this dog water game. And it's just like, why? Like, how many different events do you have to do? How... How often do you have to update that crap ban list just to, like, try and pull players in when people like Iron Mouse or whoever these other streamers are that have streamed Master Shits, they're not going to come back. They've probably played it, like, once or twice and they move on with their day doing whatever it is that VTubers or other Twitch streamers do or they go to whatever makes money. Fortnite, Warzone, whatever. Like, uh, I, I could go on and on. Konami left money on the table. The game is crap. Uh, it's Hearthstone with a Yu-Gi-Oh skin. I, I love the fact that I made that comment in my original uh, video. They got like over 10,000 views. But let me know what y'all think about Master Shits in 2024. I think it's hilarious that this game is still going. Uh, comical to a point where like I have to kind of congratulate them. But I do hope it dies so that people will actually go to real simulators like Dueling Book, EDO Pro whatever i want more people to play the game but i want konami to push a good game whether it's another world championship game that i keep saying that they need to make uh a master duel s game that was the actual game you know if if master duel tomorrow became hey listen we're putting all the cards in from the tcg and the ocg we have tcg ocg banlist here's the master duel banlist and here's time wizard formats i would be preaching from the sun to play this game and i would be live streaming it probably almost every day because that would be cool. But no, like this is just dog water. I'll stick with my world championship games. I'll stick with uh, making actual good content about the game on EDO Pro and actually playtesting and not wasting my fucking time. Oh, good God. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a while since we've done a rant. And I will see you in the next video.